Welcome to the swamp. The giant that the head ball coach awakened. One that thrived in urban renewal. And now one where only the Gators get out alive. There's nothing quite like a great rivalry matchup in college football. The bitterness, the intensity, the lifetime of memories that will come as a result of what we're about to see in this one. As we'll see the number 23 team in the country, the Miami Hurricanes, taking on a team from the SEC, the Florida Gators. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. The Canes will kick it away to start us off. Coming out with it, it's Wilson. He gets a block. Oh, what vision. He's going to get loose. He'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Gators. How about that play? Yeah, that was a great shot by the return man, but how about the execution and the block and everybody getting a hat on a hat? They set up that return perfectly. You can't start a game better than that. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they get the first seven of the game. How about that for starting things with a bang? Opening kickoff and house that baby. What a job there. They're lining up for the kickoff, and let's see if this return team can answer with a score of its own. And he's going to try to return this one. Rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone did not work out as he stopped at the 13. So Miami's return team will have that offense backed up. And this figures to be just a tremendous matchup of big play receivers, Jesse. And because of their skills, Reese, you're going to see all types of ways in how they use them, right? They're going to throw it to them. They'll throw screens. They'll get jet sweeps. Get these guys as many touches as you can. Well, and the good thing is, if you're a defense, you're used to it. You see this guy in practice every day. Now you're seeing another guy that's elite. Which defense can rise to the challenge and get a few stops and maybe nullify the playmate? the play fake quickly to the tight end the biggest lie college football coaches tell is nameless faceless opponent David game like this you know their name and you know their face you know them well and it does mean just a little bit more because it's bragging rights like the rivalries matter so much all throughout the year all the fans talking about this game in particular that's why it means more and that's why these players will be jacked out of their minds Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. And I think on that last run play on third down here early in the game, they're making a statement that we believe we're the more physical team and we're going to run the football even if you know it's coming at you. Nice job. They've got the ball at midfield. I expect to see more run plays coming up. They'll ride the hot hand. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. So you get stuffed on first down, and now you have the offensive coordinator thinking a little bit. Yeah, we're probably going to have to throw it now on this second play. But what are we going to see defensively? Now that they know we're throwing, might they blitz us? Do I have to lead more guys in to block? There's a real cat and mouse game going on right now between these two coaching staffs. Quick touch pass to the receiver. Gets it past the first down marker and still running. And he's finally ushered out of bounds, but not before. He makes a good game. How many ways can I make you think, right? First drive, out the gates, getting it to my playmaker, going full speed across the formation with a touch pass. You better be able to adjust to it. Then when you adjust to it, I'm going to have an adjustment to your adjustment because I'm always wrong. I'm an offensive guy. Comes out throwing on first down. Makes the grab. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Nice job reeling in that catch. And listen, when you say Miami Hurricane football to me, I think about burners at the receiver position. Michael Irvin, Andre Johnson, Santana Moss, Reggie Wayne, who I played with in the Senior Bowl. These guys could not be covered one-on-one. -on -one. And this dude here in this offense today, he causes the same kind of problems. Really, really good route runner. He always seems to get open. 
The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. They'll run it out of the shotgun. And a nice, solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. Just a simple power play. Again, not sexy. Run the ball up the middle. Physicality, offensive line gets to assert themselves. Run block, what they love to do. This pays dividends down the road in the fourth quarter. This crowd going to try to make life miserable for these guys. Off the RPO complete. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. When you're a playmaker like this guy is, your coaches are going to dial up plays intended for you, especially on third down. That's what you saw in that last play. There was no question where the quarterback was going with that football. All week long, they decided on the biggest downs of this game, we're going to target our best player, and we're going to make sure that he gets looks. It doesn't matter what the coverage is. You saw it right there on the field. That DB had a different story. He had something to say. Coming up, making a physical tackle. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. To the air, it's Ward. Makes his connection. They make the stop, but not before he sets them up with a first and goal from the ten. Quarterbacks love receivers that can do damage once they have the football in his hands. No doubt there. Easy slant, completion, and then let your receiver go make hay once he has the ball. Fans are bringing the noise on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, he did everything he could to try to avoid all those defenders, but at the end, it's still a negative play. Tackle for loss. One defender, then the next one. The blitzing guy got a shot at him. Everybody had a shot. It took a while to get him down. Yeah, great effort by that defense. Not quitting the play. He'll run it up the middle, trying to pick his way to the end zone. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Listen, I know there are a lot of DBs out there that all they want to do is get interceptions and dance in the end zone. This dude likes to put his face in the fan, get close to the line of scrimmage, and tackle. And on the opening drive, if he's out there, he gets a huge tackle for loss early. That is a statement of play. Third and goal, and they'll try to pass it in. Pocket starts to collapse. Oh, he's going backwards in trouble, and down he goes. A tremendous loss. Man, that's just kind of frustrating for an offense. You move the ball all the way down the field. You have an opportunity on third down, and you can't protect your quarterback. You get the sack, and now it's probably field goal time if you make a field goal. They'll send out the kicker to try to salvage this drive. He'll swing that big leg for three from 44 yards out. Splits the uprights. Good. They were able to get a field goal on board, and now they'll kick it away. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. 
So Florida's offense has its first opportunity of the day. And if these two guys wind up getting matched up, David, we'll see what wins, speed or force. Yeah, and you love to be physical and set the tone, and this linebacker does that consistently. Now, Jesse, keeping up with the speed on the other side, that's a different one. Might be different, but we're going to see this receiver work underneath on some drag routes. You better be careful. You do not want to get caught in the wash against this linebacker. After the run, second and medium. They'll give it to Johnson. Nice move there. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. And the boys of old Florida are getting it done on the ground. And you've seen time periods in history in, in Florida where they didn't care about the run. Spurrier, just throw it. Yeah, Jesse, throw it again. Yeah, yeah, throw it again. Just chuck it around. But I like when they commit to the ground game, have some success to create some balance. They're going to go right back to him on first down. Stopped almost in his track, but strong enough to pick up one to the 35. We've come to the end of the quarter, and it's Florida on top. We've played one before we move on. Let's have a look at the stats. They've swapped ends of the field, and we're ready to go in the second. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. Back to throw, it's Mertz. Gets open down the middle. Put it right on him, sweet play, good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. How about this offense? They're rolling. They got a couple first downs together. Defense. Next, what's your response? What do you got? You got to make some adjustments here. The Gators are flying down the field. Wide out in motion. The give to the tailback. Just couldn't get away from the tackle. We had a barn burner the last time these two teams played. No reason to expect anything else between these two bitter rivals. Attention to detail, and I think the sense of urgency, David, in a game like this just goes way up. And I think managing the emotions in these type of games, you, you know last year was a classic. Now you're trying to form this year's identity of this team and go out and get a win in a big-time rivalry game. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. You know, this linebacker is a special player because not only is he good making tackles in the open field, this guy can cover, and you saw a great example of it with that running back. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. From the gun, wants to pass. Coming after it. Pass is incomplete, but there is a flag, and the D might have been a little too rough on the quarterback there. So the offense gets an automatic first down after the roughing the passer penalty. The defense in a most benevolent move, giving the offense a new set of downs. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Got it behind the line. It's Johnson. The defense wouldn't let him loose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. Love the play by the defense. They just did a good job understanding where the running back was on that play. After the catch, they're able to make the tackle right away, and now they've set up third down. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. To the air, it's Mertz. Throws to the tight end. He's got it. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Well, this defense now is just getting gashed. If you're a defensive coordinator, you might now want to think about being aggressive, changing up your play calls, and maybe breaking your own tendencies because you have got to stop this offense just marching down the field. 
The handoff to Johnson. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Florida! Follow the block. The offensive line will take you to the Hallelujah Land. And I tell you what, most of the time, when you see requires a little bit of skill to find the hole, you know, slip it through a little crack. That was not a crack. That was wide open. It didn't take a lot of vision because the blocking was outstanding. On to attempt to try. And the extra point is good, and they have an 11 point lead. That drive covers 62 yards for the touchdown. And the capper on that drive, the 10 yard touchdown run. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. On the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. They're going to have to be more aggressive in this drive. You can't expect to win this one, David, kicking field goals. No, especially when you're trailing. you got to have a little more urgency and maybe a little more aggressiveness, Jesse. And field goals are not going to get it done down the stretch. Yeah, you're going to have to take some shots, no doubt. Bottom line, when plays present themselves, you just simply got to make it. Solid pick up a four on first down and second and six. They'll run play action. Caught in the backfield. It's McCormick. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. They saw that blitz coming, and the way to get out of it is find the tight end. Yeah, how quick did he see that, too? Sees the blitz, understands... This is a matchup where I got my big tight end, the big fella. I trust I'm going to find that matchup, get him the football for the first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. I'll tell you what, that was a lightning fast decision. You can tell he knew what he wanted to do right away, makes the decision, but maybe his footwork wasn't a little bit good and the pass wasn't where he wanted the football. I know that. After they couldn't connect, it's second and ten. Grabbed in the middle, it's McCormick. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there, and he stopped from getting the first down. The modest gain on the completion really shows why you want to run the zone, make them execute, and rally to the ball. 100% zone eyes on the quarterback. I see him throw the football, break on it, go make tackles, live to fight another down. They're bringing heat. Working the middle of the field, and it's complete. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. Wow, and what a great job by that quarterback finding his open receiver on third down. You know, guys, one of the most telling stats at the end of the game is third down conversion percentage. If you're a great third down team, it's invaluable to your offensive success, and that's why teams drill third down so much in practice. From the gun, they'll try the middle. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm. Now they're letting them drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. We've reached a two-minute warning, and this thing has been one-sided, and they hope to at least have something to feel good about going into halftime. They'll line up for a second down play. Looking to throw, it's Ward. Throws to the wideout. It's in! Complete, and he's lucky to get that one back. Almost intercepted. Great coverage, great break on the ball. Had a chance to really make a big play and maybe even take that thing back to the house. But you got to secure the catch. We like to hit people more than we like to catch balls. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. The critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there. When it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You've got to be able to make that play. The Hurricanes will try to pin them back with the punt. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. 
And it looks as if there will be no return here as the punt goes out of bounds. The Gators sending the offense back to work. Looking to go up top on first down. The throw to the outside is complete. That's about as close as you can get to that marker, and it will be second and just a few breaths away from the first down. Less than a yard to go to pick up the first down. On second down, wants to throw. Grab near the marker, it's Wilson. Big, big gain on that one as he steps out of bounds with a first down. Well, after that last play, you can see how electrifying this guy is and how special he is after he makes the catch. If I'm on offense, I'm trying to find a lot of ways to get him touches in this game. They dialed up the perfect call, splendid execution. Now they've got it threatening. First and 10 from the 27. Got his man downfield. Touchdown, Gator! And they take it in for six more points. And this offense is clicking. Another touchdown. Didn't have to go far for this drive, but this offense is doing what they want, how they want, when they want. Lining up for the PAT. And with the extra point, they're on top by 18. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they cap things off with a scoring toss from 27 yards out. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Here he comes from inside his own five. And the coverage team able to make the tackle. Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. They find themselves in a pretty deep hole here, but maybe a chance to grab a little momentum and regroup at halftime. Yeah, a big chance. Like This is, this is an opportunity. This is the biggest opportunity in front of them in the game right now. you got to get some points on the board. you got to create something positive, Jesse. There hasn't been a whole lot to be positive about in the first half. If I'm playing quarterback, I'm locating my go-to guy at receiver. Who can I count on one-on-one -on -one to go and make me a play? Maybe even one-on-two. Who can go up? Catch the ball, get us some yards, and get us some points. Looking to pass, it's Ward. Got him downfield. Makes the stop at the 30, but a big 15-yard pickup gets him out of trouble. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Wants to throw on first down. A beautifully placed ball outside and the toe drag for the big pickup. I really like this slot receiver because of his shiftiness, and you see that on his route run. Really, really nice job creating separation for his QB. Not the most productive half for this offense so far, but finally starting to get it in gear. First and ten. Looking to move it through the air. And he drops it just a little too slippery in the hand. Well, it doesn't get any more open than that. Good read by the quarterback. He was looking for his tight end wide open on the play. Man, you got to make the catch. Second and 10 after the previous play. He's looking to throw. Grabbed over the middle. It's a Royal. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. They flexed out that tight end a little bit, and you know the tight end's always open. Always open. Quarterback's best friend. And this guy's a problem, Reese. He's a matchup problem because he's too big for DBs to cover, and he's too fast for linebackers to cover. He's showing you his athleticism there. Finds a man on the left. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. And the Canes will snap it on first and ten. He's going to pass. Quick strike complete. They'll get him stopped just short of the end zone, but they're in business here with a first down. I like this tight end. He does a really nice job on his route run. He's been beating man coverage. He can find the soft spots and zones. you got to get him involved. 
And now a chance not only to cut into the lead, but play it just right. And maybe the other team doesn't even get a chance to answer. Wants to throw. It's Ward. Unleashes to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Hurricane. And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You, you want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. Getting set for the point after. And with the extra point, they draw closer. It's 21 to 10. So a drive there of 85 yards. And they close that drive going to the air for the final few inches. You get that touchdown right before the half. Build the momentum. And the last thing you need to do is mess it up by allowing a big kickoff return. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. Running out of time here in the first half, they're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks so much, guys. And I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion. And no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to see who comes out on top of this rivalry contest. And the Gators will kick it off to start the second half. He'll bring it out. It's Restrepo. Ball dozes him. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. Maybe adjustments or attitude or attitude adjustments. But they've got to find a way to run the ball at least some here in the second half. I do think you said something that's important. I think running the football is an attitude. Like, it starts with the offensive lineman and being physical, having a nasty attitude, running back, same thing. I think they need more of that in the second half. You know, and I think if any of you're this defense, you have an opportunity to make a statement here. Yeah, I know you guys went in at halftime and you riled yourselves up and you told yourself that you think you can run the ball on us. On this very first drive, we're going to prove to you, just like in the first 30 minutes, you cannot. That kind of play is just vintage hurricane receiver play. Uh, I mean, big-time playmakers on the outside. The list is long for Miami, but finding those elite speedsters down in the state of Florida, it's not a hard job. They'll snap it from the 36. They've got a first down. Martinez on the carry. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, the most insightful analysis I can come up with on that one is that didn't work. Back to the drawing board to see if there's something that works a little better soon. Or if I can quote the great Reese Davis, that was very ungood. Not a productive first down play. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Back to pass. It's Ward. Quickly out to the tight end. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down mark. You know, David, this is really what game managing is. Nice pickup on second down to help them on the next play. Yeah, I think people look at that negative sometimes, finding a quarterback that's a game manager. No, use your brain. Set up good situations. I'm, I'm way more successful when I can keep those sticks in a more manageable situation, and I'm not as predictable on a third down. And they did not let him reach the line to gain. It'll bring up a decision here. You know, I really like this QB running the football because I know he's got a lot of speed, but he's not the biggest guy in the world. So he's not going to be able to break a lot of tackles. You really got to do a good job of trying to scheme ways to get him out in more space. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. 
And the punt will hit at the seven, and they can corral it. It goes into the end zone. It'll come out to the 20. He'll come out throwing on first down. Sends it downfield. Snatches it on the run. And the explosiveness, the big gainer, gets it to the 49-yard line. And a big reason why this team has the lead in this game is because of plays like that. They know they've got firepower throwing the ball. They've got the dudes outside that can make things happen. You saw it in the first half, and you see it here again early in the third quarter. Fires to the tight end. And how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. It's really easy to say the word RPO and say I'm gonna run them, but you gotta make those decisions and you gotta make them fast. You can't get confused by all the craziness that's going on, by all the guys moving around or talking. Nice job by the quarterback staying in the moment, seeing it, throwing the slant, making sure he makes the right decision. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. The big tight end tries to make a catch, and you can tell he extends for the ball, but great job by the defender getting in there, making the hit, dislodging the football out at the same time as he's going to catch it, and the big tight end couldn't hold on to it. Back to the line after the incompletion. Second and 10 from the 37. This time he's got his man. Brought down at the 26-yard line after a pickup of 10 yards on the play, and it'll be a first down. When you're a defense, you have a choice. Do you play man or do you play zone? They sat back in zone. That might change. They might change their mind and try to switch to man here shortly in the future. The Gators have it with a first and 10. From the gun, the give, looking for room. Ball's out. Defense swarming on that loose ball. It'll be a turnover. Offensive players, when they got the ball in their hand, they're trying to make plays, right? Trying to make you miss. There's nothing better than closing that gap and sticking that head right in that guy's chest and causing a fumble. Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And, David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. It's an offense that takes pride in being physical. They try to get it going on the ground, but no gain on that one. Just nowhere to run, not a lot of wiggle room for the ball carry. This defense came in knowing that they had to match their physicality. Let's see if they can keep it up. Dropping back, it's Ward. He finds his man. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. We're trying to throw the screen out to the receiver. The defense, though, having none of that. They are just too physical. They're too fast. They force a negative play. If every journey begins with a step, this offense needs to step into a third down conversion and then try to turn it into some scores and fast. They're trying to get to it. And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. And the sack comes from the middle linebacker, who is the quarterback of the defense. To get everybody lined up, make all the calls, play the run, he can also rush the passer and sack quarterbacks. What a job. And the Hurricanes will send out the punt unit. It doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. Slips through the line. The coverage team was down there to corral him. They made the stop, and they'll mark it at the 39. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. That fumble in plus territory just ruined that last drive, David. Yeah, and those are frustrating. We've got the offense moving a little bit, and you put that thing on the deck, Jesse. But move on, reload, forget about it. At the end of the day, it's just fundamental football, right? They practice it all week. Five points of pressure. Every ball carrier has to have it. They just got to do a better job moving forward. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Single back formation, and they give it to him. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need. 
all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? They'll try to get it through the air. Caught over the middle. It's Wilson. That'll get the job done and move the chains, and they'll mark the ball at the 45. And on that third and short, I don't think he was unhappy to see that zone. Nope, it was a great job by the offense. Hey, see where the holes in the zone are? Sit down. You only need a little bit of yards on this third down. Get the conversion. Move the sticks. They've crossed midfield at the 45 with a first and 10. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. And I don't care if I get it by 2, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. Off the play fake on first down. He uncorks deep. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge game if he could have held on. Yeah, and sometimes the coverage is just great. And as a quarterback, you throw the football away or don't try to force it too tight into a window. And you just say, hey, defense won that well. Good coverage. Quickly complete. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Big catches, big plays, tons of yards through three quarters for these two guys. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. From the gut, the running back looking for room. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Great job at contained by this defense. And in order to do that, the end man on the line of scrimmage defensively has got to be able to set the point and force the football back into traffic. And that's exactly what happened there. And if the kicker can put one through, this will be a successful drive. Looks as if this will be a 51-yard attempt. Absolutely perfect. And they'll push that lead out a little further. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut him out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. So after the made field goal, they'll kick it away and rely on their defense. The returner will field it and try to set up his offense in great field position. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. They'll turn to Martinez. Slams into the pile. He'll get one to the 17 got to give this defense credit because they have bottled this guy up all game long. He's one of the best running backs in all of college football. Everybody was expecting him to have a big one today. I'll tell that to this defense, though. They've played with great effort. They've gotten past to the football, and they have been able to shut him down. He's got it again. Picks his way ahead, pick up a three, and gets it to the 20-yard line. How about the job by this defense? They, they knew what they were getting into. A really good running back. We talked to him this week. It, it was the main focus point of this offense, stopping the run game, stopping the run game. Boy, have they showed up and showed out and answered that challenge. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Caught in the backfield, it's Martinez. And he's going to be just short of the first down. It's going to bring up a decision for this coach. Well, here's the problem offensively. Because you're trailing by so much so late in the game, the defense now is going to be playing big zone coverages, and they're going to allow you to throw the ball underneath in the middle of the field, rally to make a tackle, and bleed the clock. It's going to be hard now for this offense to claw their way back in this one. Try to get it on the ground. He will not get it. A fourth down stop for this defense as they try to salt this one away. 
In the situation we're in, down two possessions, they obviously had to go for that one. And because they're not able to come up with it, it looks like they're going to be leaving this stadium with an L. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good game before the stop is made. Well, no mystery on that play call, right? You've got the lead late in the game. You've gotten the ball back on the other side of the 50 on your opponent's side, and so you're just going to run it. And it's fine if they know that. You just want to stay on the field and bleed this clock, and you got to start thinking about where are your best run at runs? Which side of this offensive line is the strongest? Which guys defensively do you want to attack so you can take as much time off the clock as possible? It's hard to stop great runners. It really is. That's why you run the football consistently. You've got a big offensive line, a big physical unit. You run the football like this, man, it will take a toll later. But you've got to tackle this guy over and over again who has this ability to make people miss and make big plays. To throw, it's Mertz. He caught it. That completion has them right on the doorstep. They'll mark it at the one. Yeah, and I tell you what, when you stick these fast suckers in the slot, they don't have to be big. But you get those guys that are so quick in the slot, they can get great matchups, and I can get the ball to them quick because they're such dynamic playmakers. Looking for just one more yard. It's second and goal. Trying to pound it in. And he's going to take it to the house. Touchdown, Florida! Now they've got a little breathing room. They are in firm control of this game, guys. But you never want to let up in a rivalry game. Because it only takes one play. We know how much of a factor momentum can be in these types of rivalry games, David. So this game's still far from over. And this is where my leadership and my experience comes into play. When you got guys that have been through these fires, been through these rivalry games, you know the swings happen quick. Now you got to swing it back your way. PAT unit on the field. And the extra point splits the uprights, and they're up a full three touchdowns. A 21-point cushion in the fourth. The kickoff unit about to go to work. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. And it's an incomplete pass over the middle. And that's just the kind of game it's been for this quarterback in this offense. you got a great game playing all week long. You're watching it throughout practice. You think you're going to have a chance to light up the scoreboard, but they're just not able to hook up. You've got to give this defense a ton of credit. They've done a great job in coverage. They've been breaking on passes. They've had their number, and that's why they're leading by as much as they are. Looking downfield, it's Ward. Fires to the wideout. Oh, he drops it. That is a catch. He makes 99 times out of 100, but it'll be third down. At this point of the game in the fourth quarter, it is going to be tough for this offense to get some completions here because now, trailing by this much, the defense is expecting pass, and they're putting a whole bunch of extra DBs on the field to help them out in coverage. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Caught near the sideline. It's Restrepo. And listen, everything's four down territory at this point. You're trailing by this much late in the game. So it's okay you didn't get first there, but now the pressure's on to convert this. Otherwise, it's ball game. Coach has no choice here. The offense has to stay on the field, down multiple possessions this late. Fourth down attempt coming. Unloads to the wideout. Makes the grab, and he's got the first. Turns out to be an easy conversion for this offense as they move the chains on fourth down. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. Throws to the wideout. Catch in the middle. It's Little. They'll get him down, but not before he crosses the 50. He's down to the 49. This defense better not blink. I know they've got a lead here in the fourth quarter, but just look at who they're going against. This quarterback is one of the best in the nation. They cannot rest on their laurels. Someone's going to have to make a play. And the Canes want to move quickly. Going up top on first down. 
They've avoided the interception all day, but they were lucky to get that one back here late. It'll be second down. And it's just been that kind of day for this quarterback in this offense, guys. They have never been able to get into a rhythm throwing the football. Timing's been off. Accuracy hasn't been great. We've seen some drops. Just not in sync. And that's why they find themselves trailing by a lot right here late in the game. This one's complete. They make the stop at the sweet throwing catches. Plenty to give them a first down. I love the anticipation on that throw by the QB on the out route. You gotta throw it before the receiver comes out of his break. Nice work. Finally, some signs of life from this offense, which has done nothing in the second half. It's first and 10. He'll just keep slinging it. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. You see an incompletion there. I think a big reason why this team is in such a hole right now in the fourth quarter is they have just not been able to find the explosive plays throwing the ball. And you got to wonder at this point, is it too little too late? Back to the line after the incompletion. Second and ten from the 37. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. He's got an open man. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. They're running the curl route against zone coverage. The quarterback knows that's going to be a tight window. He's got to rifle that ball into his wide receiver. He does just that, and as a result, they pick up the first down. The Canes getting set on first and ten. Dropping back, it's Ward. He makes the connection. And he goes down after making the grab. Picks up a few, but still short of the first down. This offense has their work cut out for him, man, because the coverage has been so tight. And if you're not throwing to the sideline or you're not getting past the sticks, this defense is going to tackle you inbounds like they just did on that last play and bleed the clock. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. Catch in the middle. It's Martinez. Makes a catch and knock down. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Defense has to be frustrated. The offense keeps matriculating and matriculating and matriculating the ball down the field. The quick out. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. That is so deflating on defense, too, because in your own red zone, third down, you need to make a stop. You know they're going to throw to the weapon at tight end, but it's one thing to draw it up on the blackboard. It's another thing to go execute and prevent that guy from catching the ball. He's so big. He's so athletic. You could have the perfect play call on, and he's still picking up the first. To the end zone, and it's picked off. Taking it the other way. He's at the 40. Past the 20. And he will roll into the end zone. Touchdown, Gator! And then the offense has the lead, has the football. All you got to do is run the clock out, make it conservative, run the football. They chose to throw, and the defense makes them pay. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. What kind of field position can he help them with on the return? Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lane and they'll stop him at the 16. On the move, it's Ward. Fires the pass, intercepted. And he has taken it all the way back. Touchdown, Florida. Dude, this, 
you didn't think it could be any worse, right? You thought this game's over as it is anyways. Offense still throwing the football, still trying to make plays, and the defense just continues to pour it on, gets the pick, makes its way all the way. They'll try to add another to their lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. They're about to kick it away and the defense probably can't wait to get back out there after the pick six. He'll bring it out. That gamble did not pay off as they bring him down at the 12-yard line. And here comes that Miami offense back onto the field. They'll throw it on first down. This one has pretty much been a bludgeoning, but they'll try to finish with something positive late. Well, they ran into a buzzsaw today, and I don't think it would matter what type of X's and O's they're out there executing, Dave. If Jimmy's and the Joes, they just, they're just not as good as the opponent today. And, and as an athlete, it sometimes hits you in the face and it stinks, but you're not good enough. And today, they were not good enough. And I'm going to do the best I can to try to flush this down the toilet, not remember it, forget it, move on for the next game. Maybe something right here I can create positive that carries over to practice and maybe next week. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. And this game is obviously out of hand. And, but I think the fans would argue, too, at this point, like, all right, well, let's not throw check downs, right? Let, let's throw some deep balls and continue to open up this offense and keep fighting. I think that's what you want to see. You want to see your squad not quit. Keep fighting until the very end of the football game. He's going up top here late in the game. A sensational grab down the field there as they try to at least put a positive spin on the end of this game. Thank you very much. That's what the quarterback's thinking on that last play. I think he was even shocked that his receiver was that wide open downfield. He'll take it. Maybe this will breathe a little life into this offense, which has been flatlined in the second half. Here's first and ten. And that's just a flat misfire, not even close to his receiver. Well, this guy must feel like he's run into a buzzsaw in this game. He has been under duress all game long, and that's a big reason why he's thrown multiple interceptions in the game, too. Nothing coming easy to him. It's hard to see the field when your internal clock is going off so fast because of the pressure of this defense, and that's why they find themselves down by so much here in the fourth. Shoots it to the left. Holds it in. That completion gets them inside the 10, and the defense is running out of room to defend. The Hurricanes are threatening on first and goal. Looking to throw, it's Ward. Got it! Oh, and he thought he might be able to wiggle his way into the end zone, but they knock him down at the three. 